All right, I'm sorry. I didn't actually know there were shadows here. All right, so we're doing part eight, like probably the most important part of the lab. It seems like, oh, we played around, we got displacement, time, velocity, but why did I teach you to do all that? What What's the purpose, Mrs. Nagel? Remember, I am karate kidding you or, you know, I'm yagging you. All right, so go back and look at the displacement versus time graph right there, okay? And how far has the toy train traveled in 0.84 seconds of t? So that was the this dot right here. <clears throat> so how would I know um, what that travels? Well, I'm gonna have to look at my data. Da, 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 da. Right here, and it travels, and what have I got? 15 something, I don't know, that distance. So at time, equal to 0.84, it traveled a distance of, yeah. Yeah, all right. So I had to go find out what that uh, displacement was. All right, so here's my time is 84 seconds. That's what I'm looking at. What was my distance? 16.8 centimeters. Right. So we're looking at the first part of the What was the displacement? It was... 16.8 centimeters. I actually went back to the original chart and I'm just trying to estimate because I knew it was like 16 or something. Now it says, look at your velocity versus time graph. So this graph reveals velocity through the slope. Then we found all these individual velocities and we graphed them. So it's kind of useless, but yeah, because you know, you should, the train didn't accelerate. So that's showing no increasing speed, okay, or increasing velocity. Now what I'm asking you to do. So look at the best fit line and find the rectangular area under the best fit line from 0.84 seconds. So I find my 0.84 seconds, let's the fourth dot in here. That would be really nice if I had color. All right, I got my colored marker here. So now I'm asking you to find the area underneath this rectangle. There is a reason to my madness. Okay, so I'm gonna color that in. So I'm trying to find this area. Now you guys remember math, you learn the area of a rectangle and you're like, yeah, yeah, I can use it in, uh, oh, I can use it if I'm building, you know, something. So I color this in, show that in. Where's my area? What's the area? Looking for the area here. I know right area. <laughs> okay. What's area? Well, area is length times width, right? Length, that's usually the long side. Who knew you can use it for all this stuff? You can use it for graphing. Well, whatever you can. It's not just like rooms and stuff. So what's the, the length? Right, the length is from here to here. The length is, let me see that time was, uh, time was 0.84 seconds. So the length is 0.84 seconds. Now what's the width? Yeah, I got that line there. I don't know. What's the, oh, well, the height, you know, in our graph. So it's, is it 20-ish? I mean, it kind of looks 20, so I'm just going to put 20. And what's the unit? Oh, well, this one is meters, centimeters per second. Let's see what that, that is when you multiply it. And I hope I did this right. Oh, uh, let's see. Point eight four. Now, you're going to have something different here because, you know, maybe you have it lower or higher. Times 20. Ooh, oh, my goodness. Is that what I think it is? Oh, my goodness. Oh, what happens to the units? Well, you know, if you look at seconds over one, centimeters over seconds, the seconds cancel out and you're just left with centimeters. What the heck? Unit is a centimeter. That's a displacement, folks. That is freaking amazing. Look right here. This area gets you back to that dot. That's mind-blowing concept. Here you go. Here's your graph. 
you graph the slope. So then you found the slope over each little one, each little piece. Oh, sorry, it's like down here. And you found the slopes. Then you graphed it over here. La, la, la. But what happens if you're on this graph and you want to find the displacement? You find the area. Whoa. <laughs> so slopes here, areas here. And that, oh, I'm showing you this. I goofed it. <laughs> That's mind blowing. So, what quantity is revealed when you find the rectangular area? Look, the look at the units. The displacement. Oh, I said distance. I got to write the displacement. You can put distance because it's in a straight line, but displacement. Displacement. Ooh, gotta change that. Yeah, whatever. It's that. Now, within the small possible error, can you reasonably conclude that the displacement from the first graph matches the area under the best fit line? Yes. Hopefully you can. Now this is where, do you find a correlation between the graphs? Amazing. Hopefully you do, but I don't care. You, either one. No, I'm smart. And I knew that all along. If you did, you're getting a gold star in your paper. You have just did. You have just learned something called calculus. Calculus is a study of slopes, AKA derivatives and areas, AKA integrals. You've basically, this is mind blowing, learned more than most people understand in their lives about what calculus. You randomly ask people what calculus is and they're like, I don't know. You've just did a very simple explanation of what calculus is. It's, it's, it's like mind blowingly cool. All right, now be laconic. Describe, uh, describe the relationship being developed between analyzing both worlds, graphs. So, your conclusion is you usually go back and read the objectives of the lab, and I've kind of changed them around. I can analyze the motion of the vehicle. So you can say the, the toy train, whatever, blah, 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 train uh, traveled with blah, 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 centimeters per second. Don't forget that. Um, when graphing the displacement versus time graph uh, it revealed the velocity by I'm, I'm just kind of writing this down in my head just to kind of give you kind of a heads up you know what if I so when distance versus time uh, displacement versus time graph it reveals the velocity by Finding, finding the slope between two points, between two points, between two points. I don't need the points down. Then when I graphed the velocities, between all the points and calculated the area and calcu can't spell calculated all right the area under the graph under the graph i Um, maybe you don't want to say I, um, it was revealed. It revealed the original displacement I used from the front, I used from the first graph I used. All right, I got really sloppy handwriting, so I made you listen. But, you know, something like that. Something like that. You know, you got to can use your own words. I don't know. Something like that. Like this. Blah, blah, blah. Remember what the difference like, is? It's like, I can analyze the motion of the vehicle moving in a straight state. Okay. Ugh, that was really wrong. Blah. 